Agent Mastermind. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the call. I appreciate you guys being here. Honored to have you here and be a part of your life. Man, I just I can't tell you how many success stories I'm hearing. I'm just so excited about it. And today I hope to give you one more. I don't know if you guys realize, but we are in November and the new year is upon us. I don't want to ruin anybody's day, but here we go, right? We got to start off brand new January 1 with uh with the new numbers zeroed out. Yeah. <laughs> back to the beginning. So I'm going to give you guys, if you guys do, what I'm going to share with you today, I'm telling you, you will, oh my God, you will hit some big numbers next year, but also this will carry you through the rest of the year. I talked to a gentleman down in San, excuse me, da, uh, where was I? Jeez, oh Pete. I was in Houston last week, and Dallas, in San Antonio, but in Houston, I met with an agent that might be coming on the class with us <clears throat> here eventually that uh, is 14 deals away from closing 190 transactions this year wow. and uh, it's pretty amazing so he's doing some of the stuff that I'm going to share with you today and uh, I'm glad to have you here so let's do this okay okay all right so if you're joining us for the first time we have a private Facebook group that's going to be probably at 12,000 before the end of the week we're growing very very fast and it's at facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash agent mastermind Make sure in your Facebook profile that you join us with that it says somewhere, shape, or form that you're a, you're a real estate agent. Um, we're only letting real estate agents in, so we just want to keep this group as clean as possible. There's some amazing interaction, engagement going on, and we want to keep it that way. So I monitor that thing with my life, so uh, just know that um, and just be respectful of other people, okay? All right, here we go. So what we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about the low-hanging fruit, farming your database. And I'm going to give you some very easy things to do, very inexpensive, and most of them are free because we all have one on our desk called the phone, of ways to connect, engage, and grow our um, referral network, which is our database. And like the people that already know, like, and trust us, they're low-hanging fruit. And the one big thing that I hear consistently from top agents and top loan officers is that... They don't have a system in place to connect, engage, and interact with their past database, right? Right. It, it, I don't know what it is. It's our DNA, our disk profile. We're like more excited about chasing leads that don't know, like, and trust us instead of building deeper relationships with those people that know, like, and trust us and would give us referrals left and right if they just could remember us or if we were top of mind. So that's kind of what I'm going to share with you today. Uh, that I'm very excited about. And here's one thing you have, I don't know, write this on your wall, write this on your T-shirt, put it on your kids' shirts. We are in the marketing to our database business, not the real estate business, okay? Real big key there. So, so we're in the yeah. marketing to our database. What's that? That That is so key right there. I mean, It's yeah. real key, yeah, it's everything. So you just got to think about it. Yeah, you're, yeah, you sell real estate, but, man, we're in the marketing homes. We're in the market. I mean, we're in the marketing business. So just to put that hat on, okay? So who is our client? And I, and I just added this today because I think it's important. We need to realize and remember who our clients are. Most of them, and all, I mean, I had so many, I still have so many great friends that are past clients that I've been, done loans for that know me, like me, trust me, I know I can trust them, and have some, a lot of them I do stuff with. So they're a friend, like most of them become friends. There was one agent that I, that I talked to when I said, tell me where your last four deals come from. You remember this, Vicki? And she mm -hmm. said, friend, friend, friend of a friend in floor time. That's where the last four referrals came from. And I'm like, man, all we need to do to double your business is to get more friends. She's like, yeah, I guess you're right. So um, someone who trusts you, someone who needs your services, someone who has 50-plus friends, family, and coworkers on speed dial and social media, think about that. Someone who has a family, someone you can help. And that's probably the biggest one is someone you can help. They're reaching out to you when they call you about a home it, without you knowing anything about them. You were there to help them answer questions, and you need to really find out who they are and really what their goals, dreams, and desires are. And if you flip that switch and you make that happen, I'm telling you, you will have a new friend, and you will have more referrals than you can ever imagine. All right, so this is the three things I'm going to go over today. Marketing to your database is so simple but so so powerful, and if you do this one thing of these three things, it will literally have leads coming in by the end of the week, probably by tomorrow. If you did this, if you got off the phone today and said, all right, I'm blocking off the rest of the afternoon, some of you the morning, and go, I'm going to call my past database, I'm going to give you a really easy way to do it and scripts to do it with, 
you will. I don't know anybody that has done this and not have more leads in the pipeline by the end of the day tomorrow. It's just, it's just connecting, engaging, and, and interacting with people. I don't know how many times I've been on an airplane in a crowd of people I don't know, and all of a sudden somebody comes talking about real estate and buying or selling a home. I mean, isn't that true, Vicki? It is, yeah. I mean, it, 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 this is what you would call working in your business, right. on your business. How, how, does, how do you feel about that? I mean, it's just, you're blocking out time, something that you're going to do on a regular basis. Right on. Yep. So. Awesome. Okay, so call three times a year. A must, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you to put it in your calendar today. I'm gonna give you the scripts. Email automatically once a week. A must. Snail mail once a month, and I'm gonna tell you what to send and what to say. And you guys are gonna go, really? It's that simple? Yeah, it's that simple, and it's that powerful. Okay. All right. So here's the script for the voicemail script, and, the, and like, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cover some crazy stuff after I give you the script. So. Here's the voicemail, and here's the, you know I'm going to ask you to get over a couple things. Like you're you're probably thinking, if I call my past database, they're going to go, man, really? What are they calling for? I haven't talked to them in two years, three years, four years. You know what? They don't think about you as much as you really think they do. It's going to be okay. So you just got to get over that. So here it is. Hey, this is Scott with ABC Real Estate. I helped you with buying or selling a home in the past. Just wanted to give you a quick thanks for letting me help you. If you ever have any real estate or mortgage questions or would like to uh, report on home prices in your neighborhood, please give me a buzz. By the way, I was just looking at some home values in your area, and I think you'll be pleased with what I have to show you. The best number to reach me is 555-1212. Hope all is well, and hope to talk to you soon. Oh, also, if you have any friends or family members that could use my some honest help, just give me a call about that, too. I would be honored to help you out. I'll talk to you when you call back. Bye. That you remind them of who you are, you leave a message, and guess what? They may not need your services. They may not even call you back. Does it matter? No. Nope. If they do need your services, will they call you back? Absolutely. If they know somebody, friend, family, or coworker that's thinking about buying or selling a home, do you think by you calling them, they're going to go, oh, that's right, Vicki called me. That's cool. so cool. She helped us buy her home. That is, a, that is a monumental, that is an emotional thing for people that they never forget. Like, man, they really helped us get into a new home. I, like, I owe them, I owe them the, you know, some people think I own the world. So, like, what is, it's no big deal to give a referral. So, that's the script if you send a, uh, if, if you get their voicemail, which is going to be 70% of the time, depending on when you call, okay? Don't think too much about this, okay? You'll create a problem that wasn't even there in the first place. Isn't that true? Like we, we start doubting ourselves, and most of the conversation I have with with my good friends and business partners is they overthink things. They and, and, it, and it's so funny when they call me. They go, you know, I'm probably overthinking this, but let me just run this by you. <laughs> so I listen to what they say, and I'm like, yeah, you're overthinking it, man. Just pick up the phone and do it. Like, yeah, okay. And they do it, and guess what happens? Amazing things happen for them and their family. Okay. So here's the call live answer. Hey, this is Scott, ABC, same thing. Helping you with buying or selling your home in the past. Just wanted to give you a quick thanks for letting me help you out. How are you guys doing? Pause for the answer. Give an appropriate response. If you ever have any real estate, more, you know, typically it's going to be, oh, doing great, man. Thanks for calling. How you doing? You know, good. Hey, uh, so what do you got planned for the, you know, for the holidays? You go into family blood. Just kind of talk back and forth. Get them talking. And what I would do is I would put a three-minute egg timer on your desk. Never go more than three minutes unless they're doing the one talk, like, like unless they're the ones talking. You know what I'm saying? So three minutes. Because if they see you call in three months or four months, and they go, man, I don't have time. Vicky's calling. I don't, I don't have 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> right? Right. And some people right. I know like to talk, and I love talking to them. But when I see their number, I'm like, man, I don't have 20 minutes. Right? So three-minute egg timer. Make it about them. Quick. I just want to let you know, hey, I'm in the real estate business. I really appreciate you. How you know? I really pre it was really nice working with you guys. Uh, just give me a buzz if you need anything, uh, and grab a pen. I'll give you my number. Here's my number. Uh, the best number to reach me at. Hope all is well, and hope to talk to you soon. Oh, also, do you have any friends or family members that are looking to buy a home? Now I switched that just a little bit, and I need to switch this thing. Instead of saying, "Do you have any friends or family members?" If you switch this, get this. So if I was, if you're listening on the phone right now. And I said, do you have any friends or family members? Vicki, do you have any friends or family members thinking about buying a home or selling a home? Sure. Or, or you typically say, man, I, I, I can't think of anybody, right? Right. 
So if I just switch it, and this is a this is like a study that was done, and it's just a little bit of a change on the script where it says, "Hey Vicky, who do you know?" That's now, and think about this as if I was talking to you on the phone. This everybody on the call. Who do you know that's thinking about buying or selling a home right now? now you got to think about. It. You know, like you start thinking, right? Mm-hmm. Like you start racking through, going, "Hmm." I'm like we're all in real estate, so it's a little different for us, but. If you if you ask somebody that, who do you know that's thinking about buying or selling a home that I that I might be able to help out? You're gonna rack through instead of do you have any friends or family? It's just a little tw- tweak there. It's easy to say, no man, I I can't, I can't think of anybody. But if I say who do you know, you got to think about it. And then they still have to say, well, I, I can't think of anybody right now. Or you know what? The, my neighbors were just talking about like they they're, they're thinking about selling their home. Well, hey, would you mind if I give them a call? Do you have their number? Sure, it's right here. I mean, everybody has their neighbors' numbers, right? Right. All right. Can I count? Here's the end. Can I count on you? Vicki, man, you, you know we're friends, right? Can I count on you to give me a call if you have any, if you or any of your friends, family, or coworkers have anything to do with real estate needs or questions? Can I count on you? Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. It's, it's no big deal. Heck yeah, you can count on me. All right, cool. All right, so what about people that haven't spoken to you in a few years? And this is where, guys, I'm telling you, you're missing, like, literally – thousands if not hundreds of thousands of dollars on the table it's sitting there for you right now these guys are thinking about or they hang around people holidays are coming up they're hanging around family friends there's soccer games going on there's just all kinds of sports events i i talk to uh, tons of families at sporting events real estate always comes up almost every single time okay people think about you a whole lot less than what you think they do stop overthinking everything all right all right so Put the date in your uh, put the date and times for your three calls. And if you haven't done it, put it on your calendar right now. I mean, not right now, but right after this class. Pick a day. And here's a couple suggestions for you. Spring and summer are particularly really powerful because that's when people are thinking about selling, right, or buying. Time change is a good call. That's a great call. Hey, just want to let you know that hey, it's time to set the clocks back. The, the spring forward. I'm so excited about spring. Hope your family's getting excited about summer. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help you guys. Closing date anniversary every year would be a great one. Hey, just want to call and wish you a happy anniversary. Like, what? You know, after a couple of years, they're like, what's he talking about? Oh, yeah, we bought our house. Yeah, we bought our house five years ago, right? Happy birthdays. Great. Hey, just want to call and wish you a happy birthday. This is no joke. Carl told me this. There was this one lady that he used to every single year call and wish her a happy birthday, one of his clients. And the one year he was on a trip, I don't know, on his motorcycle somewhere, and he didn't call her. And so she called the office and said, hey, I just wanted to call and make sure Carl was okay. This gives me chills talking about it. Oh, I, I wanted to call and see if Carl was okay. And he's like, yeah, why? He goes, well, he's the only one that would ever call me on my birthday. Aww. Is that crazy? You just don't know how you're touching somebody or how, how you – I mean, it's it's not about what we do or what we say. It's how, it's how we make them feel. That lady really looked forward to that one phone call every year. Crazy, right? Right, and then you do the 60-day, you know, after close call, so. No question. <clears throat> mm-hmm. All right. If you have more than three, and this is where it gets really fun. This is like, I don't know, this is, I don't, I don't want to bring any drug names up because I don't do drugs, but phone burner is like, it's so addictive when you start using, if you've never used phone burner, um, here's some great news. And, Vicki, I didn't even tell you this yet. Our good friend Tony Saramatis down in Texas mm-hmm. uh, has phone burner class CE approved. Along with this class, this very class I'm showing you right now, is I two know. hours of CE education. That is awesome. Isn't that so cool? So think about this. So phone burner is a system you can use, and, I, and I'll explain the details here, but think about this. Think about this, Vicki. 300 clients, right? Mm-hmm. There's 60 days in a three-month period. Of, like, so there's 20 days per month, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, times four, Right. So that's 60 days every three months. That's If you have 300 people, get this, five phone calls per day. Is that crazy? Definitely five, doable. That's it. Yep. Five per day to communicate with 300 people per, per every 60 days. Excuse me, every 90 days, right? There's 60 days in a 90-day period of business days. I oh, hope that makes sense. So, Or you could use phone burner and do it one hour a week and – and connect with about 60 people in that one hour. And what Phone Burner does, you know how, like, I read the scripts, and I'll go back to the script. So what I would do is when you get a voicemail, this is the script, right? And you can change it up, whatever. This one works great, but if you want to change it, you know, that's, 
That's your choice. So if you record this once, it's going to sound good. And you just read it, and you, the more you say it, the better it gets. And you put some excitement. Hey, you guys, this is Scott Beth calling from ABC Real Estate. Help you. I helped you with buying and selling a home. And I just wanted to give you a quick thanks for letting me help you out. If you ever have any real estate or mortgage questions, or if you just like a report of home prices in your neighborhood, please give me a buzz. I'd really appreciate it. By the way, I was just looking at some home values in your area, and oh my God, they're off the hook. You know, just something crazy, right? Right. And you record it one time, and guess what? If you it's if somebody insane. picks up yeah. and in phone burner, and you get a voicemail, you push a button, and it leaves that message. So, so the message of the is time, fresh every time. Fresh every time, and they have no recorded. idea you're leaving. It, they have no idea it's yeah. recorded. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. It's insane. So, so you could literally connect. I mean, if you wanted to bust it out, you could probably do it in four hours on all 300 clients and get it done and do it every three months. Now, here's here's where it gets crazier. Okay, all you people on the phone that have an assistant, how many people? I'll just take a show of hands. How many people? And Vicky, kind of let me know because I don't want to look at questions that get sidetracked. How many people on the call have an assistant that could make the call for them? Anybody? Yep. <laughs> or who has a who has an assistant that makes the calls for them half of the time on behalf of them, right? Like, hey, this is Scott of uh, Vicky wanted me to give you a call. So what if your assistant or partner, whoever it is, picks up the phone, logs into phone burner, you have your database uploaded into phone burner, you click go, and this person you recorded the message, so 70% of the time you are on the voicemail, and 30% of the time they're reading this script, and they're going, "Hey, uh, hey, Vicky, want me to give you a call?" And this is Scott with ABC Real Estate, and Vicky, want me to give you a call? We just, we really enjoyed working with you and your, you know, your family to buy that home, and we just wanted to say thanks for letting us help you. And man, how are you guys doing? You know, Vicky, want me to see how you guys are doing? So it's the same script except for Vicky, like whoever they're calling for. It's like, mm -hmm. Vicky wanted me to give you a call. Vicky wanted to say thanks. Vicky, this, like, it's kind of like the doctor. The doctor doesn't call you to see how your knee's doing or, your, hey, uh, you, you know, you were in yesterday and had this or had that. It's not the doctor calling. It's somebody saying the doctor wanted me to see how you were doing. Right. right? Yep. So powerful. So while you're out doing something, money-making activities, meeting with clients, writing up offers, showing homes, whatever it is, somebody else is calling your past database and guess what happens? This is the crazy part, guys. Leads come in, all right? Imagine what your business would look like if you made an additional 300 calls a month. I can tell you right now, the gentleman I met, Renee, in, in uh, Houston, 190 transactions this year. He's got a little goal going for himself. He won't even talk to me or email me back because his goal is to have, I don't know, what do you say, 60 listings in 60 days. He goes, I'm focused. I'll call you when I'm done. I'm like, dude. Please don't call me. I want you to hit your goal, and then you know, let me talk to one of your team members. And that's what I'm doing is I'm talking to one of his team members about how I can help you know how we can help him grow his business. So think about that. An extra five hours or about an hour and a half, hour and fifteen minutes a week is all. What would your business look like if you connect? And I'm going to show you some more stuff of what to do. Okay, think about what. what I mean, Vicky, wouldn't that be crazy? It would be crazy. It would just be. I mean, you're talking a. A huge pay raise, and then you won't have that feast or famine, you know, that up and down that that happens, especially this Great time of point. year. Great mm point. -hmm. Great point. Feast or famine. It's like consistent. It's recession proof. Who cares what everybody else is doing? Who cares what kind of lead source I got going? Because every time I put someone in the system, they get put in the queue to get get, get a phone call, and they and I'm going to show you some other stuff that you need to do on a monthly basis. One is email. Email your database once per week. Don't send real estate info all the time. Like. Boring, boring, boring. Especially if I just sold you a home, you don't want to hear more about real estate, okay? You want to, you like put cool stuff up. Video marketing, the social lubricant. What's happening in Kalamazoo, Michigan? I'll give you some ideas. Putting your city in there. What's happening in Dallas, Texas? What's happening in uh, Atlanta, Georgia? What's ha no matter where it is, if you Google it, boom, it's right there. Smartphone apps. How many people on this call have a smartphone with them right now? Everybody. What if I? Can, I'm, I'm going to show you a really cool smartphone app. Here's the funny part. I was on the plane. This is no joke, Vicky, because I love doing this just to get the response. I'm like, oh my god, you got to check. And I was sitting next to this lady, and she's from Houston, and we're talking. And I said, you got to check out this phone app. Watch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, and I can't say it real loud. I'm just gonna show you. I can't say blow up on the plane, but I said I'm gonna blow up that uh, door up there to the, you know. So I'm having a little fun. She's like, oh my god, I got to show my kids that. So the mindset behind that is she's gonna go home, talk to her kids about this cool phone. She wrote it down. 
or she put it in her phone or whatever. And so she's going to show her kids, and then she, every time she plays that up, guess who she's going to think about? The guy about that, that told me yeah. that on the plane. So, so what if, if, you, if you share yeah. that with your clients, they're going to think of you. you know, exactly, like yes, mm -hmm. exactly. YouTube, like, you guys are going to see this app today, and you're going to go, oh, my God, that is the coolest, the coolest thing I've ever seen, right? YouTube no editing. Um, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get really crazy on the iPhones. I got some crazy, and the, some of the droids work too. But I'm I'm gonna have everybody like go into buy an iPhone after I show you guys the video crazy stuff you can do on an iPhone. So YouPood, uh, YouPood, YouTube no editing. <laughs> Short call to action at every end, and we're gonna talk about that too. Okay. Here it is. What's I go I googled this last night. What's happening in Kalamazoo? Events. Discover Kalamazoo special event. Events calendar. Kalamazoo Michigan Entertainment News. There's all kinds of stuff going on. Guess what? People do this stuff. They hang out at this stuff. And if you're like the person every Friday going, hey, man, this is Scott. I just want to, man, I can't believe it. The art festival is going on downtown Kalamazoo. I hope to see you there. Let me know if you're going. Maybe we can hook up. That's it. Check out the video. And then they put in there. Now, here's what I pulled up. So I clicked one of the links, and it says, some of these are old, but November craft needles knitting at, 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 at the brewery. So what would, you, what would the video look like, right? I just look at these titles and go, oh, my God, I love this. Hey, let's go do a little knitting while we're drinking some beer, right? <laughs> explore, explore Glass Art Day, Global Marketplace. Uh, what's this? Uh, November fourteenth, Mugs and Mows, a frothy mustache event. How big go. can you get your mustache? Hey, I'm hey, I'm going to get a new mustache. Who wouldn't open that email, right? What yeah. are you talking about, Scott? Well, I'm going to Mugs and Mows. We're gonna go have. <laughs> I mean, there's so much fun stuff. This was just last night. So concerts. Um, it's just all kinds of fun stuff. So. So Get out there, rem like help your clients remember who you are. What was that? So you could you could definitely have fun with it. Mm. Mm. Maybe, and that's the whole goal is to make people laugh. You make want it fun, like yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like here's one that's that, that's uh, double take. Artists respond to collection. So hey, I'm doing a double take subject line. I'm doing a double take. They're like, okay, who's what? They can open the email. Hey man, we got a cool artist to respond to collection that we're having. Blah blah blah. Whatever. Figure out what the event is and talk about it. And just, just just have fun with it. Like, like, man, this guy's crazy, but God, he's like everywhere. He's like on Facebook, he's on video, he's doing be like crazy, right? Video marketing email. So record video on smartphone. That's pretty hard, right? Hold the phone, talk, upload to YouTube, grab link to share off the YouTube and then email out your database. Now if you guys don't use Bomb Bomb, it's a really cool phone app that allows you to do a video right on your phone. And then also put it right in Bomb Bomb, and then send the email to a group or a database or a single person or whatever it is. Get personal with people. Like, ha and I'm going to give you some ideas: Happy birthdays or congratulations on your daughter's graduation. I'm going to show you some really crazy cool phone apps in the weeks to come that'll help you in, very, in like a couple minutes to spruce up your video marketing, and you can do it right on your phone without even leaving your phone. It's insane. All right. So Here's you have that, to really so. just get involved with them. You have to engage. You have to, to, open you have to go. I'm going to do this. Out. Yeah. You have to understand. You, you have to go. All right. You know what? I'm not a techie person, but if I learn this stuff, I can share it with other people. That's why. That's why I love this stuff because I I can literally walk up and talk to any of that, a buddy about a cool phone app, and they're going to go, Oh my God, that's so cool! No matter who it is. And then they're going to remember me. I'm like, Who is that guy? I don't know. I'll never see him again. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. So here's one that Craig Bland did. I love Craig Bland. He grabbed his phone, turned it on, and says, hey, please take a look at my pink shirt video. I'm going to donate 1,000 to Breast Cancer Awareness Charity, and you can even choose. I asked for 1,000 shares of video. Right now I'm at 39. Please share. I would like to make the donation in October, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. How cool is that? Right? He does crazy videos all the time. It's, I mean, that's not a crazy video, but that's a good one. But he does videos all the time. It's just he, he gets out there. The, the, the crazy, the, the sad part about the, the video that you didn't do is that you're not going to, nobody's going to see it. Somebody said, I only got four likes on my video. Yeah, but what if you wouldn't have sent that video out there? You would have got zero likes, right? Right. Example of a video email. So, hey, see you this weekend, question mark. I always put a question mark. Even you'll notice if you get an email from me ever, or uh, maybe I'll say something to you and I always put a question mark. Why is that? They've proven that with the question mark, people are interested in what's the question. They want to be involved. They want to participate. So sometimes you'll see an email that has a question mark, and it's not a question. You're like, it just triggers something in the human mind that goes, I want to see what, what the question is. 
Wait till you see what I found this uh, that, that is going on in Kalamazoo this weekend. A little short video. And I, here I did a, actually a green screen with me downtown. This was actually New York. So I grabbed New York and I put green screen behind me and I got a little crazy. I said, hey, man, downtown, you know, downtown this weekend, blah, blah, blah. Go here to see the short two-minute video. See you, in the, see you in the town. That's it. Pretty simple, right? Mm-hmm. Have some fun. So I blew up my car. I'm going to show you the app that I used to do this thing. You guys, you guys interested in seeing this app? I mean, is that cool or what? I mean, so hey, uh, another house down the tube. Like, so what if you? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I can think of a lot of different things, and maybe I shouldn't say them. So I'll show you how to use it, and then I would love to see the creativity of what you guys come up with on using this app because it's so stupid simple that it's just, I don't know, it's so much fun. There's a lot of different things which I, besides blowing stuff up, but doesn't it look like I really blew up my car? It does. It's a, <laughs> I know. I, I, I was shocked, and I, you know, I can, you know not you need to do all this crazy oh, no. stuff Remember, out of day. you challenged me that one day. You had that kid blowing up stuff in the grocery store, and you're like, yeah. like man, what, is, what, was, it, what was it? What was it? Yeah. <laughs> so here we are. We're going to do it. All right. So keep it simple. One shot, no editing, no bumper music. Shoot outside around a nature scene or in front of one of your listings. Post on YouTube, and every app on planet Earth will let you go right from your phone to YouTube. Um, it's just, or, or you download it to your photos and then upload it to YouTube. It's really just right there. You don't have to, don't need a computer, don't anything like that. And then um, one thing that I absolutely love to do is the video sandwich. We've talked about this. We've had a class on this about the uh, video sandwich, which if, you know, if, you, if you've never seen, check this out. 796 million views on Charlie Bit My Finger. Has everybody on here, who hasn't seen Charlie Bit My Finger on this call? Thank you. Anybody better. not seen it? Not seen it, yeah. yeah. Not seen it, yeah. Nope. See, there's, so there's people still on this call today that have not wow. seen this, this video. It's 796 million. So what I'm saying is people go, man, everybody's seen it. No, not everybody has seen it. And the cool part is it's like how many people have watched a funny video over and over and over and over again? Because you see it, and then my daughter comes home from college, and I'm like, hey, let's you check this out. Oh, I already seen it. Oh, okay. But we watch it again, right? We laugh, and we, like, have fun. And, like, how many times does that happen? So if you put an intro, hey, guys, Scott, it's Beth, you guys, man, Charlie, Charlie's biting fingers again. Check it out. This is the funniest video I've ever seen. And then you go to the video, and then at the end you go, was that funny or what? Oh, my God. So, hey, if you're thinking about buying or selling a home, just give me a call for a free no-obligation consultation. I would love to work with you and your family. Look forward to seeing you downtown. Whatever. Just funny. So then so then they forward the video. Guess who they see in the front of the video? You. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the whole. And they will forward a viral video because, obviously, this thing has been forwarded, like, a lot of times. So, all right. Okay. So um, don't edit your videos. If you go to Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R.com, put in edit video, there's somebody that will edit your video, take a beginning, an end, whatever you want, do an intro, whatever you want for five bucks. It's crazy, right? So for you to spend 30 minutes or even 15 minutes, think about, here's where I look at this. is like if you think about what you made last year, and if it was 100000 so you take 100000 divided by 2,080 hours, it's $48 an hour. So if you spend 15 minutes divided by four, you just spent $12 messing around with trying to edit a video. Heaven forbid you spend a half hour or an hour. You just spent $48 of your time that you could have been calling your past database, showing a property, running up an offer, working with the buyer, doing something that's going to get you another deed, another deal, when, when someone else can edit your video for five bucks. It's called delegation on steroids. Anything you want, Fiverr, they'll do it. It, it, it. I mean, you want an article written, they'll do it, five bucks. It's just, it's crazy, okay? All right, so what do you need for your first video? Smartphone, what to say, where to post, and you email it out. That's it. So smartphone, everybody has one. What to say? I've given you a couple ideas of what to say. Um, go back to what's going on downtown, phone app, happy birthday video, congratulations video, um, what a, what a football game, whatever it is, a lot of, yeah. lot of stuff to say out there, not real estate. Every once in a while, if you find some really cool thing or a crazy home where it has uh, its own private ski course or something like that, maybe put a video out about that. But videotape that. Let people know about you. They're not going to buy a home from 
from a listing, they're going to go look at it. They're going to call. They're going to go. They, the more people that know, like, and trust you and literally know you, the better the chance you have of working with them. And video is it like puts it on steroids. And emailing out there, staying in front of them. Where to post? Where would you guys guess? Facebook is the number one thing. Of course, if you have their email, send it out on email as well. Okay? And Pinterest. You you have pulled up tips on Pinterest, you know, tons of times. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, in fact, yeah, I'll show you that. So what she's talking about, if you guys want ideas of where, like, where to post, check this out. So if you go to Pinterest, this is crazy. So if you ever want ideas, go to Pinterest and under Pinterest, once you log in, there's this little search tab that runs across the whole thing. If you could just put in tips, it's going to go tips for growing out hair, tips for bartender, tips for moving, tips for showing money, tips for curly hair. So let's just go tips for moving. Or uh, So here's literally 32 moving tips. Got it back. All right, here's the, uh, whoops, next. Got it. All right, so if I go, I, I like doing crazy tips. Crazy tips. Yeah. Well, Tips for the smartphone, tips for the Yep, eyes. so I here think. is um, 17 life-changing makeup hacks. Like, so, so for women, that'd be great. Um, there's just 40 crazy survival life hacks. How cool would that be? Everybody loves that stuff. 27 tips I learned my sophomore year. Um, here's, uh, here's some hair stuff. I mean, there's seven tips for the clothes. Uh, let's see, duct tape, glow-in-the-dark duct tape. Hey, you guys, like, duct tape is really cool, but what about glow-in-the-dark duct tape, right? Like something crazy. Who doesn't use duct tape? Every time they grab duct tape, guess what they're going to think about? They're going to think about you because you did something on duct tape. It's crazy, the whole mindset thing. All right? Fun, fun. I have too much fun. <laughs> All right. So uh, super cool to do with in combination with your loan officer, CPA, financial planner. They have a list. Homeowner's insurance agent, um, they have a big list. What does an insurance agent send to their database every month? A bill. Boring. What if they did video? You think they'd get referrals? You think they would like have like uh, just crazy stuff, right? All right. Do video sandwich with your loan officer and send the insurance company for a database. I mean, like I've, well, I know one insurance had two, three thousand people in his database. That's huge. All right. So snail mail. If, if if you do all three of these on a monthly basis, I'm telling you. You will double your business next year. I can't guarantee it because you've got to actually physically do it every single month consistently, month after month. But if you stay in front of the people that know, like, and trust you on a consistent basis, persistently, you will double your business. Here's the first one. I like you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flip forward. Who do you think? Like, here's the one that I sent out, and I had uh, – uh, which one do you think I wrote? Anybody want to guess which one, left or right? Anybody? Anybody? All right, so I didn't write either of them. That's the crazy part, right? Somebody else wrote them for me. So to write an I like you postcard, do you think it has to be me? Absolutely not. And I, I wouldn't be able to write this good anyway. So I like you postcard, Joe Girard, number one salesperson in the world to this day in Guinness Book of World Records. If you look it up and Google number one salesperson, it's Joe Girard. He sold the most number of cars, not commercial, but the most number, and his strategy was, I like you postcards every single month to every one of his clients. And they said, Joe, when do you, when do you think you're going to change that up? He said, as soon as it stops working. It's simple, right? Everybody says, I like you on Facebook now. It's the thing. Like my post. Like, you know what I mean? So it, it, the, the, the insane success that I've seen with just this one right here is off the hook to their past database. Superman yeah, letter. You've gotten, you've gotten little pins that say I, I, I do. I do. I, in fact, yeah. I did. Roy, yeah, like they send me. I got this one from a good buddy of mine, Richard Smith. Um, I found this one. Like he sent this to me. It's on my desk. I have it with me right now. Um, it means a lot, man. It's like, you know, we, 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 we build friendships and relationships. What if you send a, an I like you pen to every one of your customers? And That's pretty cool. New, there's these new postcards. It's called quotes I saw in the store that I thought, super cool. People keep yeah. them and put them on their desk in a little frame. Kind of right, thing. right. Same thing. Anything. That Same has. thing, you know. Just yeah. yeah, just putting yourself out there, being vulnerable, looking to help people, flip on that switch and go, how can I help you, and make it all about them. And I'm telling you guys, it's just insane. So Superman Letter is another really powerful one that I've seen. 
Superman letter is one that shares with somebody an experience you had that where you helped somebody that never thought they could ever do what you helped them do. Um, buying a home is a big one. Hey, I helped a veteran that came back. I just I was just I just blown away by how much somebody goes through to serve for our country. Um, when he first talked to me, he thought he would never own a home in his wildest dreams, and now he's in you know he's in his back. I'm so happy for this, that I could one help somebody get into a home, but two help one of our veterans. I'm so excited. Um, you know, hey, I helped a, a person get into a new home. They have acreage. They have kids. It was so exciting seeing their kids run around in the backyard, and it was somebody that um, that lost everything due to blah 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 blah, whatever. Superman letter saying, hey, I help people. Um, I like you. So first month is I like you. Second month is, is Superman letter. Third month is I like you again. I'm telling you guys, don't overthink this. This is where everybody gets in trouble. I'm not going to do that. That's not me. I can't do that. People will think I'm weird. Husband or wife will think, what the heck is all this about? Well, it, it, overthink it. Don't do it. And just here's the thing is here, here's what I don't want you to do. And this is the when somebody said this to me, they, they were presenting, he goes, I got tired of living the same year over and over and over and over again. I'm doing something different this year. I'm just asking you, like, do you want to wake up in, in November 10th or 11th, whatever the date is, 2015, and go, man, I wish I had done that? No, do it. I'm a real person just like you. Hey, my God, hey, my family and I went to this uh, great water park. It was so cool, Wolf Lodge. My kids just off the hook. Didn't eat. I mean, they slept like literally before we got out of the park. I'm they were asleep. They just they had so much fun. It's just so fun to spend time with family. Um, kind of. If if you have never been there, man, I would highly recommend checking it out. It's a great family occasion. I'm a real person. That's it. That's the fourth month. Fifth month, I like you. Sixth month, Superman letter again. Seventh month, now, don't overthink this. Just think of a story. Everybody has stories about the Superman letter. How you've had a success story. Not about you as a real estate agent, but as your client. Um, I'm a real person, just like you, just so 1 through 12. Don't change it. This stuff works. It's not that hard to, to come up with stuff like this. If you need help, go to Fiverr. Say, hey, I want to write this, like type it up and go, hey, make this look pretty. Five bucks, they'll send it back and make sure you got all the punctuation. I don't even know if it's that important because I think, you know, we're real people and I think they say that, <laughs> that if you have a couple mistakes, that it's actually more realistic than having a professional you know, all shiny, glassery, you know, all that stuff. So don't overthink that, guys. All right. So how do we measure success with emailing? 14% open rate is the initial goal. Getting your opens, openers to follow your call to action is the final goal. If you, if you only get two or three, it's better than the email you didn't send that you got zero, right? Okay. How often should you email? If you write crap, never. If you talk about yourself, never. If you... It's all about real estate, never. It gets old. I, I, I see so much of it on, on social media. It's like, really? You posted seven listings in a row? You think people want to follow that stuff? And I mean, I, I've had people go, man, my mom stopped following me. She got so tired of looking at it, you know? So oh, look at me, I just closed this house. Look at me, I just closed and double dipped. People do not want to hear about that stuff. I'm sorry. Yeah. You, you, I mean, you want people to feel good for you. Turn that around and go, oh, my God, I'm so excited. I helped the Smith family get into a new home. Who cares about how much money you made? That's not what it's about, and it doesn't help your, your persona, your profile. Talk about other people and help other people, and other people will flock to you. If you bring $100 bills, and what I'm saying by that is if you help, if I was to stop by your office tomorrow, drop off a $100 bill, something of value, and say, hey, man, I really appreciate you. Uh, have a good day. See you tomorrow. Hey, I like right? you. I like you. Tomorrow I drop another hundred dollar bill off, something of value. And I'm not saying hundred. I'm not saying money. I'm saying do something nice for somebody. Be exceptional, and it, it, it's crazy what happens. So the third day, you're, I mean, the second day, you're gonna be going, man, I got, I got to do something. Like I feel obligated to do something for this guy. Like, like one is I hope he comes back every single day for the rest of my life. This is really cool. Two is how can I, how can I help him? to give something back of value to him. That's how that's how our like the world should be and I wish it was more like that. But if we help other people get what they want, you know, Zig Ziglar said it the best. It's amazing what comes back, guys. So make sense? All right. Makes sense. So here's the um we I ran these and this is from I believe um Monkey, what's the uh 
the, the one, they send a billion emails, and these are what come back. So if you're thinking about when to send emails, how often to send them, get this. So this is the, un, this is the unsubscribe rate right here. This is the average sends per month. So once a month had less opt-out than 30, than, uh, excuse me, once a month had more opt-outs, higher unsubscribe rate, than every single day. Is that crazy? Once a day had less opt-out, right here's the lowest of the whole curve. Is that, is that crazy, Vicki? That's crazy. You know, it does make sense, you know, in, in a way. Because I don't unsubscribe to things I get every day because it's like I want to keep them. So you're this addicted is to a, it, yeah. It's good. But it's good stuff, or, though. Yeah. It's something good that you're getting. Like, man, if I, if I, if I unsubscribe, um, I might miss something. Like, you know the biggest one for me is Groupon? I so bad want to spam them, like, say, I don't want to see this anymore. But I'm like, man, I might, I might miss something. Know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like they send some stuff out. Like they're giving me free video. money every day. Yeah. yeah. You know, I can't subscribe to that. Or so, yeah, or a video that makes me laugh. You know, I'm not going to subscribe to that. Right. Effects of day of week on click through. Get this. So um, here's the uh, click through. Ten percent. So Sunday had uh, the highest, but look what Saturday was the highest. That's why when we always say when you're going to send emails, send them Saturday morning. I don't know, some about Saturday morning. Um, that was, and then the second highest is Wednesday. Monday's, uh, like, one of the, Monday, Tuesday was one of the worst. Wednesday's the second highest. Sunday's the, like, Sunday, Saturday. Um, people are just kind of relaxing, drinking their coffee Saturday morning, catching up on email. Monday was the biggest opt-out rate because I think people go in and go, I'm cleaning up for the week. I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff. So that was the biggest opt-out. But um, here's effective day of week on unsubscribe rate. Here is uh, Sunday. Let's see, it was Tuesday. So everybody blasts people on Monday, and then Tuesday they unsubscribe, and then kind of flatline at the end of the week. So um, Thursday was the, be the was the least. So Saturday best open, Thursday the best is as far as unsubscribe. So because by the end of the week people are kind of winding down, going, "What are we doing for the weekend?" They're not as much. Uh, they don't care about their email as much. Monday they care about it the most. They start going, "Oh, I'm so tired of these emails," and then Tuesday is like, "All right, I'm done." And then Wednesday kind of drops off, you know, so that kind of thing. I thought this was interesting. So Saturday, the best time to send. Thursday is the lowest opt-out rate. If you're going to send it, send it first thing in the morning. Check this out. Guess what time? 6 a.m. Click-through rate, 6 to 7. First thing, probably when they first get out of bed, they look at their email and go, hmm, what's going on? And here's why. Here's why. I know why. Because everybody, for the most part, is reactive to what's going on that day, right? So if they say they go, all right, I got a, I got a couple things to do today, but my day isn't full. They get an email first thing in the morning, boom. Oh man, that looks fun. Okay, I'll do that. Done. They click on it, check it out. And that's why the the, uh, the click through rate is so high right there on first thing in the morning. Okay. Okay. Effective subscriber recency on unsubscribe rate. So effective subscriber recency. So like here's the unsubscribe. So if the more you send, the less the opt unsubscribe rate. Okay. So it just backs up. The more you send, the less somebody's going to unsubscribe or the more they're going to welcome you into their lives. Isn't that crazy? Just, and these are talking, we're talking billions of emails, okay? So focus on the fans. This is a big one. And I, and I try to, I help people with this all the time. Some will opt out. Who cares? Get this. So I'm going to go right to the funny story. So Carl gets a call. We, like we send, we literally were sending 10 million emails a month. And... Diane, one of our awesome assistants, she calls. She goes, "Dude, everybody, everybody's opting out. Everybody." He's like, "Well, well what do you mean they're everybody? He goes, how 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 many is everybody? I don't know. Every, a lot. Well, how many is a lot? I don't know. Seventeen, eighteen, twenty. So twenty out of ten million emails, there's twenty people opting out. So, I mean, so it's perspective. Like, stop looking at the no's." Focus on the yes. Either get a yes or a no. There's no money in the maybes, right? We all hear about this. What if they're on the fence? Well, just get them off the fence and either go or no. Uh, don't leave all the wealth on the table based on the fear that everybody is opting out or everybody is like on the fence or whatever. Go through it. It's a numbers game. We live in a numbers game. The more relationships we have, the more referrals we're going to get if, 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 big if, we stay in front of them and build deep relationships. Think about it as what can I do for – I wake up every morning and go, how can I help? as many people as I possibly can every single day to have a better life, and guess what? My life gets pretty good. you got to wake up thinking that. All right? 
marketing your database. Call three times a year, email automatically once a week, snail mail, pretty simple. And then here's uh, here's a couple cool things that um, for uh, uh, about emails. I see on our agent mastermind post every once in a while we get uh, people going, man, my emails are going directly to spam. So here's one way to check your subject line. If your subject line, like there's so many different things that cause emails to go to spam through Gmail, Comcast, Outlet, I mean, there's so many things. So subjectline.com, check this out. This is pretty cool. Again, I didn't show you this. So if you go to subjectline.com and you put in whatever you want your subject line to be, and you've got to sign up. There's no cost for this. This is the cool part. When you, you They let you do one for free, and then you've got to put in your information. Put in your information because there's. I mean, I have no affiliation with this whatsoever. And if they send start sending me emails, I'm just gonna put them into a filter and put them to spam anyway. No big deal. But once I once I log in to do this, the um, it's 100% free. So I'm I'm gonna put in here. Uh, will I see you downtown? Question mark. Submit. And here it gives you an awesome report. 92 out of 100. Good job. Your subject line is close to meeting all the industry standards. Here is why. Includes word, you, or your, three points. Uh, does not contain sense of urgency, minus five points. So there's a, so includes you or, so I guess it doesn't like you or your, and it's a minus three points and then minus five points for, uh, there's no sense of urgency in the subject line. So you could tweak it. And then this is what's going to come up. Now, I did it on another computer last night. That's why it's asking me again, because it tags your, it cookies your computer, so it knows it's you. So once you fill this out one time, it automatically goes back to allowing you to run your subject lines, okay? So you can check them there, and it lower your score. I would change it, raise your score. The less information you put in your subject line, the better, because it's there, there's more curiosity. And I know you know when you're looking on your phone, uh, um, you can set it to see actually three or four lines into the email to see if it's something you even want to open. So I would suggest not putting that much information in the subject line or the first three lines or four lines of your email. You want to get it opened to, 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 to create the interaction. If they open your email, there's something of value there. They're going to be more likely to read the rest of the email, okay? Just a kicker for you. Is that cool? That's cool. And then I the other one. Yes. Was it yes that we used? Uh, what's that? Yes, the email filter. So when someone opens up your email, it shows that it's been opened. It doesn't oh, show yeah, that it's there's been a couple read. different tracking devices. Okay. Yeah, there's a couple different, yeah. Um, this is another one right here that um, is going to track your email. This is pretty. This is really cool. This is also free of charge. So this one is uh, you type your email in there, and if you're getting spammed, you could go like if you think, man, all my emails are going to spam. You can go to here and it says uh, content checker for email, and it allows you to put in like the email. Sometimes it might be your email address. Sometimes maybe your name has been spammed. Maybe your um, maybe if you're sending from Gmail, Outlook, Comcast, Yahoo. Like your particular Yahoo account has been spammed because you've sent too many uh, mass emails from it, so it'll kind of tell you. But here's uh, I did it on the PowerPoint, so I don't have to waste your time. Um, here's what it looks like when it's done. So it says your message is considered clean based on the spam uh, criteria. Your message scores zero points. That means that your message will likely be delivered without incident if you also have a good sending reputation. A score of zero is the goal. The lower the score, the better. A score higher than three typically indicates that a message based on its content alone strongly resembles spam and would possibly be blocked or filtered by major email providers or ISPs. Lyra has emailed a detailed report that contains it. So I got an email showing where it went, the evaluation email sent to you this, uh, so blah, blah, blah. And there's no cost for that as well, which is pretty cool. All right? Isn't that neat? That's neat. So when you're thinking about sending email, spend a couple extra seconds, especially when you're sending to a large audience. Make sure that the subject is good and the email is good because you want the most amount delivered as possible. And because the more delivered, the more opens, the more they're going to see you. Now, I could care less when I sent my tip of the week videos. As long as it went through, that's what I wanted. I didn't care if they opened or not because I'm going to show you a little trick. And I'll leave you guys with this, and I'm going to show you the phone app that's really cool. So in Gmail, if you use Gmail, I'm going to show you Gmail really quick. This is so cool. So you can actually put in there your first name and your phone number in this in like the first thing that comes up. And I don't know if anybody has sent me an email that does this. Let me just see. Nobody that sends me an email here in my email has done this. So check this out. If you click on the little gear button when sending an email and you click on settings, inside here, this is really cool, 
you can actually choose to have whatever you want. So if I click on Accounts and Import, you'll notice that underneath my one scott at us.com that it has my name and email address. So when I go to compose an email, guess what it says? Scott and my phone number. I can promise you that you're one of, you're probably the only one that has your name with your number in the email when they get it. That's all they see. That's all I care about. They can call me right away. One is it stands out like nobody's business that they see my name and number. Everybody else just has their name there. They can really quickly scan through their emails and see that I have a, um, that, 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 that it's me, so that they just click on me and go right to my email if they have to contact me. They got my number. It's really cool. Does that make sense? Makes perfect sense. Pretty cool. Yeah. Love that. All right, and we're going to finish with, and then answer any questions you guys might have, is the iPhone app of the week. This is, sorry to say, I think it's just for iPhone apps. Um, it is called Action Movie XS, okay? Action Movie XS. Check this out. So what it does is it allows you to video, like you would record a video right inside this thing. Pick which action thing you want. You want a ball dropping out of the sky, crush your car, or whatever you want to crush. Do you want fire? Do you want somebody shooting at you? you want, there's, um, there's some all kinds of stuff inside here. So um, I would highly recommend downloading this app, clicking go, and um, I would love to see on the private Facebook group um, some cool creative stuff that you come up with. All right? Very cool stuff. All right. And I think that is it. So to get a copy of this PowerPoint or recording, to this class, contact the loan professional that sent you here. They, uh, I would highly recommend hooking up with your loan professional that sent you the invites um, and just putting a plan in place for 2015, working together, holding each other accountable. Um, we need each other anyway. Agents need loan officers. Loan officers need agents. Let's work together with somebody that has a common interest of learning up-to-date tools, systems, and strategies to help stay in front of database, build deeper relationships. It just makes a much better place to be. So. Um, Appreciate you guys. Vicki, is there any questions? Um, Great app. My daughter yeah. was in the hospital for a week. She used to blow up her nurses. I love it. <laughs> Lynette, that is so cool. Yeah, that's, that's so much so fun. Cool. That's fun. It just makes somebody smile, makes somebody laugh. I just, I, it's just, it's just so much fun. So do you have a deal for phone burner? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm yeah. glad somebody asked. So if you guys want to try out phone burner, um, if you go to phone burner and put in the word freedom, so phone burner, freedom will give you a 20% discount, okay? So if you try phone burner, um, when, you, when you go to try it, there's a uh, right here, promo code. When you put in freedom, it'll give you a 20% discount on the actual, either the monthly or the, um, the I did the 450 rollover minutes per month. So if you don't use 450 minutes, it's, uh, it's like 50 something dollars, 48 dollars a month off of the 67, and um, here's the cool part about this, and I'll tell everybody, there's a lot of people on this call, if you use phone burner, share it with somebody, you can have unlimited number of recorded messages, so if you want to share it with four other people, split the cost, it's kind of, I mean, I consider it free anyway, but if you split it with four people, and just say, okay, tomorrow is my time from one to two, your time is Wednesday from three to four, I'm Thursday from nine to 10, 11 to 12, whatever you want to do, just share the minutes. As long as only one person is on there at one time, pick the recording and go and upload each person's database. Make sure you pick the right database and the right recording, and you're good to go. Pretty cool. All right? Great question. Now, Thank you, James. Appreciate yeah, that. Now when you use phone burner, if someone picks up, then you can just you know talk to them, and, you, and then you start talking about... Absolutely, yeah, phone yeah. Phone yeah, yeah. So, yeah, great question, Vicki. So if somebody answers when you're in phone burner, all you do is you click the button answered, and then it stops. You talk. Three minutes or less, you, and you hang up, you click go again, and you're off and running down again. Pretty cool. Right. Yeah. And a lot of people are asking right. about drip campaigns or drip, uh, favorite drip system. Um, we yeah. use the postcard. I don't know if you could point them to Pinterest. They can get some ideas. Of yeah, absolutely. So if you're looking for drip campaigns, uh, Pinterest.com. If I can spell Pinterest, that wasn't good. Oh, boy. That wasn't good there. Careful where you go and click on, right? Pinterest.com. So if you go, I'm in the wrong, I'm in the wrong one. So let me log out and log back in. Um, log out. And log in. 
Hopefully it doesn't automatically. There's got it. Isn't that that one? No, I think you need to log in with your Facebook. Let me. Oh, I do. Okay. All right. See, so, yeah, I don't even do this stuff anymore. So, <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Vicky. All right. So if you click on, um, if you go to follow me on Pinterest, I'm not trying to get you to follow me, but if you go there and you click on uh, boards, you're going to see Facebook timeline. So there's a ton of Facebook timeline headers that Vicky has done. Unbelievable Facebook. So if you you know find one that you like, send it to Fiverr and say, hey, I want one like this with my info. Um, ads, postcards, and thank yous. Here's some drip okay, campaigns. Okay. That, yeah. What's that? So those would be the drip campaigns. So it's basically These a postcard. Be? Mm -hmm. Okay. And a series of six so, weeks or eight weeks or whatever it is that you want to do. Yeah, so there's a ton of different things you could uh, pick from, go with, um, you know, buy or sell it. You could even go to Fiverr and say, hey, create me a, a drip campaign. How much are going to cost? I want a six-week campaign. And get you know, or you can just take one of these and copy it. Um, and then if you go back to whoops, I don't want to add additional boards. Done. Click the wrong button. Um, here's some words like WordPress, video marketing, or spot fillers. There's a couple, these three are probably where you're going to want to hang and get some ideas from. So I just want to show you that on Pinterest. All right. Uh, Action Movie is uh, in on Google Play for oh, so Action Movie FX is a Google Play for Android. Awesome, so glad to know that, Alan. Thank you so much. So uh, it's for Droid and Apple. Very cool. Love that. Love that app. Thank you. Can, Can you, you explain phone burner again? Yep. So go ahead, Vic. Um, the Google. Um, will you put your name in? Could you go over that again one more time for a few? Google. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, the Google really quick, and then I'll cover. So in Google, if you log in, here's your email. So you click on this little gear right here. Click on the gear. Click on settings. And then under settings, you're going to click on account, account and import right here. And then right here, if you send mail as, whatever one is your default. So here's my default. So right now it says Scott at this one right here. If I want to change that, I just click on edit info. And then you'll see that my name and number's right there. So you put in whatever you want there. I wouldn't put your last name because it pushes your number too far when you're sending emails. So I just put your first name and in, in number. That's going to be enough to stand out. And then click next step. And then you're, uh, and then it's going to ask you do you want to send it, blah, blah, blah. And you just click next and next. It's really easy to set up. All right? Cool. Um, phone burner. So phone burner, how it works. You log in. And you record a message. So you record the message with whoever you're sending to. Past database, you record, hey, this is Scott with ABC Real Estate. Just wanted to call and just say it was a really awesome pleasure working with you guys and really enjoyed helping your family get into a new home. Hey, I just want to remind you that I am in real estate. I, if you ever, ever have any questions about buying or selling, to give me a call. And also, don't keep me a secret. Hey, um, make sure to tell your friends, family, and coworkers about me and uh, look forward to hearing from you soon. So you record the message. Now it's recorded in PhoneBurner. Now you would upload your database, it's CSV file, so you'd, I could literally go to Gmail, export everybody, import all the numbers, click go, it starts dialing. So first one it dials, you get a voicemail, there's a little button at the bottom that says, um, and there's a video, there's a video here too if you go check this out, here's a little video on uh, kind of explaining how it works. Um, I think it is. If not, there's a couple other training videos. Once you sign up, it's a, there's a seven-day trial. When you log in, there's there's demos of how it works. Um, here's another one right here, how it works. And it shows you load your leads, record your voicemail message, choose the contacts you want to call, or you can choose all, start your dialing session. Um, it's that simple. So when you get a voicemail, you click this button, and it says leave voicemail, which is the one you recorded. If they pick up, you click answered, and you talk with them. And then after you're done, you hang up and click go. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the thing. Is it going to be uncomfortable? Is it going to be hard at first? Yeah, because you've never done it. But the whole mindset is, man, learn how to own this thing and dial your people to get referrals. It's, I mean, making a lot of money is usually a little bit of a headache once in a while. So is it going to be a challenge? Absolutely. It's okay. You all good? Right. And we even um, coach the agents sometimes to if they want to do their weekly updates. You right know, on. that kind of stuff. So you can just, if you don't have much to say, you can try and get their voicemail. And you can right use on. it for a variety of different things. Yep. Um, the um, Someone had mentioned about the class for the credit. That's class for the credit. So if you're in Texas, good news is we have three classes approved that we're in an agent master right now. The first one is Flower Pot Strategy. Second one is Marketing Your Database, which is the one I just did. Third one is phone burner, so you can get two hours of credit, actually three hours of credit now, 
with um, those three classes, but the uh, Marketing Year Database and Phone Burner. So if you're in the Austin area, get with Tony Ceramatis. He's out there. Um, he's the one that has it CE approved, If uh, and I'm sure that there's other people that we can help out in Texas. So if you're in Texas, just reach out to me and let me know, and I'll hook you up with somebody that can give you some CE credits for this stuff. It's really powerful, and also you get to meet the people that are actually doing the stuff that know it, so you could ask for their help too as well. So. Um, and just a couple more, just two more questions. Um, yep. That email checker website, um, a couple yep. people missed that. Would you be yep. able to give them that, and as well as the name of the app for the iPhone again? Yep, so the subjectline.com is for your subject lines. Actually, this one does both. I just, I just liked, like this one right here. So it's kind of a weird link. So um, if you want to screenshot this or um, just type it in, lyris.com forward slash us dot en forward slash content checker. So lyris.com. And then the other one's subject line. I like to, I don't know. This, yeah, this one will do both. It, this one's you guys, strictly it subject save it line. To your yeah, jing it and save it yeah. to your desktop. Yeah, yeah. The, the I like you letter have anything inside. So the I like you letter is typically a, an envelope with a postcard inside that says I like you, I appreciate you. Some people have changed it up because they didn't like the I like you. They thought it was a little weird. Um, I don't know, man. You really get their attention when you say I like you. It's not like you're wanting to marry them or even date them. It's just it's just saying. You know, when they call and go, man, I got your card. It hasn't that cool. I, you know, I really appreciate working with you guys. I really like you guys, and um, it was just so much fun. It's just a, you're a breath of fresh air. And man, if if I had to hit the reset button, you know, universal reset button, and only work with people like you, man, I would hit that in a heartbeat. Yeah. So it's just adding your own take on it. I right. like you guys, you know, or something like that. Yeah. Instead of I like you guys. Yeah, right. If it's a couple, I like you guys. Or I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, yeah, just, yeah. the biggest thing is sending them something. That has to do with you. Don't overdo it. Don't make it about real estate. Don't put listings in there. Just simple, real simple. If the postcard has your information on it, great, perfect, awesome. Don't don't overdo you. Make it about them. And I like you. And I appreciate you. I like you guys. Loved working with you. Just something simple. They people. One is they never get anything that's handwritten anymore. Ever. I don't get anything ever, except for I got you know my friends that know how important it is to write um, handwritten postcards. I get those, but. For the most part, it's typed. So I handwrite the postcard, like I showed you on this um, this thing right here. Handwrite the outside of the postcard. Do you have to be the one doing it? No, but if you do five a day, five a day, you would connect with 300 every six months. Do you think that it would yield one more deal? If anybody says no, try to find something else to yeah. do. I mean, it's yeah. like holy smokes, well, five per day. It, it, it just there's no way. I mean, if you do okay, so you see, you have 300 in your database, and you got to do do it per month. So there's 20, like there's 30 days in a month, right? So how many do you have to send out? Well, 300, um, 300 divided by 30, 10 per day. That's it, 10 per day to two, triple, quadruple your business because they will refer you, they'll call you, they'll email you, make sure they can get a hold of you, make sure your stuff's on inside. If you throw a business business card in there, perfect, awesome. They should be able to get a hold of you. You know? Yeah. yeah. There was a um, a question about the copyright on the um, photos that we do for the marketing that we do. Okay. So um, wait, yeah. let's say you're using Vic. I don't even know now. Oh, I like that um, photo dollar. Okay, so Vicky, we buy all our dollar dot com photo dollar club. Yeah, it's photo dollar club. So um. Or dollar photo club. Dollar photo club is the one we use. Dollar photo club dot com. That's just a dollar. Yep. Yeah. It's a dollar per photo, then we know that it's legit. One dollar an image always. Yep. Yeah. So there's that's where we usually get all that stuff from. Yep. So there's no copyright on that in in those. Right. Oh, because you you've purchased them, so correct. I can correct. use another. Sometimes I'll purchase them for someone's brand, you know, so that belongs to that <laughs> particular individual. So. Uh, okay, here's Sherry. I appreciate. I, I really appreciate you guys, but and, and, and we'll end with this because I always like to end on a good note. Uh, Sherry says, "I have phone burner. I love it. What area do you mention that is giving uh, three CE credits for phone burner? So that's Texas. 
Did I hear you mention that some area is offering CE credits for phone burner class? Yes. Um, so my good friend Tony here in Madison, Texas, has the phone burner class CE approved. So what we're going to do with that, and just so you guys know, is we take every class that we get CE approved and we give it to as many other states that we can to get CE approved so you guys can start benefiting from the uh, from these classes as a CE credit. Because I think, I mean, I, I wish that all these things, is really our goal is to help you guys build, or re recruit, re recruit, retain, and, and make a profit. I mean, recruit a new buyer, recruit a new seller, maintain, keep, and grow your business. I mean, that's our that's our number one goal for everybody. So um, that's our that's a kind of our motto. So, all right, guys, I appreciate you guys. I don't want to take up any more of your time. I want to respect it. It's uh, top of the hour a little bit after. I appreciate you guys hanging with me. I think it was a great class. Hope you got something out of it. Um, would love to see the uh, movie, the the. Um, the creativity with the new phone app that I share with you guys. Got another one coming for you next week that I can't wait to share you share with you. So Vicky, I appreciate you, my friend, oh, for all the work you. you've done and help people. Action so Action um, Movie FX. That's the name of that app. Action Movie FX. And again, okay. if you have joined us for the first time and you're still here, I sincerely appreciate it. But join us on Facebook as well. Facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash agent mastermind. And we'll see you guys same time, same place, right here on Agent Mastermind. Next week, have Chris Johnstone back with us, who's going to um, share something new with us that I'm very oh, excited about that I have no idea. He is awesome. Is. He is awesome. So appreciate okay. you guys. See you next week. Be safe. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.